During yesterday's successful test of the indigenous technology cruise missile with the indigenous manic engine, the missile flew only 150 kilometers to gauge the performance of the new engine, and the DRDO will conduct one more test in the coming months, where the focus will be to validate the engine's performance for its full range of 1,000 kilometers, and the last test in early 2022 to demonstrate low-level flying while navigating through multiple waypoints. After the performance of the Manic engine is validated, it will clear the path for the development tests of the air-launched indigenous technology cruise missile from a Su-30 fighter jet by 2023. In the Science Reporter magazine which is a publication of Council of Scientific and Industrial Research, the DRDO has confirmed that the Naval Science and Technological Laboratory has started development work on a new generation medium-weight torpedo named Jalastra. The DRDO is also developing a new fiber optic channel guided version of the existing heavy weight torpedo, that can be launched from both ships and submarines for anti-submarine warfare. The DRDO is also in advanced stages of development of submarine periscope, submarine hoistable masts for periscope, radar and communication antenna, and an universal vertical launcher capable of launching all the indigenous missiles on board Indian naval ships. As per the magazine, the DRDO is also developing a new intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance drone. At a time when the army is looking to procure 400 Athos stowed howitzers worth 4,000 crore rupees from the Israeli firm Elbit Systems, Larsen and Tubro Defense has offered to supply 400 Trajan towed artillery gun systems with an indigenous content of over 70% that has been developed with French manufacturer Nexter. The Trajan gun had already cleared user trials with the Indian Army, as the LNT next to consortium had finished L2 or the second lowest bidder in the Army's 2011 buy and make global contract. LNT has also promised the Indian Army that it can deliver the first gun in less than a year. According to media reports, the central government has started discussions with the Cochin shipyard to build a second aircraft carrier. The shipyard is confident that the construction of another aircraft carrier will be completed in seven years, and the new dry dock which is under construction at the shipyard at a cost of 2,000 crore rupees will be completed by 2023, that will enable faster construction of vessels of 70,000 ton class. India's newly formed and operationalized Armed Forces Special Operations Division is seen as a prospective customer of the export version of Russian Mi-8A MTSHVN helicopter, which is meant for exclusive use by Special Forces. It has missile approach warning system, upgraded avionics, night vision equipment, helicopter train awareness and warning system, forward-looking infrared system and auxiliary power unit, and can be armed with anti-tank guided missiles rockets and machine guns for aerial delivery and fire support. The Vice President of Lockheed Martin India has said, that India could come up with a decision on procuring 114 fighter jets under the MRFA program by the first quarter of 2022, and Lockheed Martin is open to establish a maintenance repair and overhaul facility for F-21 fighters in India. Lockheed has tied up with Tata Group to locally manufacture the F-21, and had promised to shift its production line to India and not sell the F-21 to any other country. The Indian government has provided $5 million non-refundable aid to help the Vietnamese Ministry of National Defense to build an information technology system, and the successful implementation of the project will help to enhance bilateral defense and political ties between the two countries. ISRO's highly anticipated launch of GSAT-1 Earth observation satellite has failed due to technical anomaly in the cryogenic stage. The performance of first and second stages was normal, however, cryogenic upper stage ignition did not happen due to technical anomaly, and the mission couldn't be accomplished as intended. Oh,
Attention. 